Today, today's the day. It is going to be a very glorious day because today is the first day of this entire prep so far, the past 13 weeks, that I'm going to be allowed a refeed. Refeeds are utilized for many different things on a prep. One being typically in natural competitors to help drive fat loss, especially if someone is dieting over a really long period of time. Sometimes it takes people six months to get ready for a show. So instead of dieting the body into the ground, utilizing refeeds every couple of weeks to aid the fat loss, or in my case, when someone hasn't had a refeed for so long and the body is craving certain foods and is yearning to be replenished because you have dieted for so hard for so long and the body just needs a small little break before slamming the hammer back down and getting back to work and today is going to be the day that that happens for the first time on this prep A bit. Yeah, that should do. Before we start this refeed, there are two things I need to do. One, take some check-ins so I can see what my physique is currently looking like. And two, send my weight to my coach because we want to track after this refeed how my body responds and if my weight continues to drop, stay the same or increase the day after a refeed. All this information is beyond valuable in knowing what to do leading up to a show to peak in the most optimal way possible for show day. Oh my God, 212.6 pound. I weighed myself literally just yesterday and I was 213.8 pound. That is a 1.2 pound drop in literally a day. Another reason a refeed is important is because if someone is losing weight too fast, you can utilize one or even a two day refeed to slow the fat loss. Inevitably, the person is going to continue to drop weight anyway. But to be honest, my body could not be in a better position to utilize a refeed because I'm burning through fat right now extremely fast. I thought for today's video, I would um, keep the glasses on. I mean, I wear glasses all day, every day, just not usually when I vlog. But I thought today, like, you know what? I'm just gonna, oh God. I'm going to keep them on because honestly, I can't see my eyes getting any better anytime soon if I don't start wearing my glasses a lot more. I would like to get laser eye surgery. Am I a little bit too scared? Maybe. I am very, very petrified of the idea of going under like the laser. But right now, I've actually finally found some glasses that I really do like. So I'm going to try and wear them as much as I can. Now we have the weight, I wanna log it into the book and then do a physique update to show you what I'm currently looking like at the moment. Day 90, 12.6 pounds. I absolutely love logging my weight into this book because I can see like from the very beginning, we have lost 21.6 pound in the last 90 days. Probably still have another 12 pound to go, but honestly, really happy with the 21 pound that we have dropped so far. trying the side tricep from a different side now because typically I've always done it one side. I feel like to show more of like the waist and the width of the upper body, I've now been trying it from facing towards the right instead. Let me know in the comments which side looks better, the original side, which is like the left side facing or facing the new side, the right side, which is something that I've never ever done on stage before. So let me know. And that is what I'm currently looking like. 
posing is done. I feel like over the years and stuff, you know, as your physique progresses, you have the ability to like unlock various new poses. The one side tricep is the only side I've ever been able to do because I felt like my other side just didn't look good. But now through this prep, I'm realizing I actually quite like it because it feathers in a different way, which might look good on stage. I have to build a routine as well, so I can now perform both in the routine. One of the best things about this refeed is that today, we don't have to one, train or do cardio. Callum wants this to be a full rest day, so no training and no cardio, which is amazing because like I can literally just make breakfast right now. It feels kind of weird not making my pre-cardio drink like my EAAs and all that kind of thing, considering it has been the way of life for at least the past month. But today, today is different. Today, we get to relax and utilize all of the carbs that we eat today for tomorrow's workout, which is going to be very, very glorious. Here we have meal one of the day. The macros of this meal consist of 81.2 grams of carbs, 15.1 grams of fat, and 56.1 gram of protein, which amounts to 708 calories. When I've absolutely devoured this first meal of the day, I will be breaking down all of the macros that I'll be hitting for today's refeed. Typically, I'd save the best for last, but considering we have so much good food today, it doesn't actually matter. Mm. Oh my God. That tastes exactly like a pro card. The eggs with the sweet chili sauce is like honestly just as enjoyable. Mm. Mm. And because my taste buds have become like more and more refined, things like fake sweet chili sauce almost taste better than the original. Even water tastes good and it never tastes good. And I also love drinking out of this glass bottle. I'm gonna continue watching some YouTube videos and enjoy this first meal. Just demolished that first meal, got showered and ready. We are even more baby faced. The hair was like growing back already, but like I just decided to shave again because I kind of I kind of like being shaven to be honest. Like I've wanted to shave my face for a long time, but obviously on the off season, you grow facial hair because you have fat cheeks and it helps contour your face. But just wash the dishes like the domestic goddess that I am. And now before we make meal number two, we're gonna talk about the macros for today. So protein today is a little bit lower than usual. Protein is usually over 300 grams, but today 282 grams. Carbs are at 500 and five grams, which is double my regular day. Usually I'm on about 250 and 62 fat, which is about 10 grams higher than on a regular day. Total calorie count for that amount is 3,706 calories. So I have 3,706 calories to play with for today. Callum has given me a diet plan, two of the meals. I have like macro broke down and customized myself, which is the next meal and meal number five of the day. But the macros for the day and the calorie count literally equal the exact same, like two the exact grammage and I've utilized foods that I know my body processes very well, responds to really well too. Based on how my body reacted from foods on the off season, I know for a fact that bread, because every single morning on the off season, I had two massive bagel sandwiches. I'm honestly so excited about it, it's crazy, but those are my current protocols for the day. An absolutely incredible pump to look forward to tomorrow. But right now, we're gonna make meal number two of the day. have it the masterpiece that is anabolic french toast it's a recipe that i just built with the macros that i do have because obviously i don't have complete freedom i still have to stick to the macros that i've been given but look how good that looks i, I am so sorry because i get a refeed geordie doesn't get a refeed yet i feel bad but at the same time meh <laughs> I'm gonna give you the macros afterwards because I'm gonna enjoy it first. I do not want to enjoy this cold. Oh man, I feel like this is like a monumental moment. I haven't eaten anything like this in like 13 weeks. <laughs> wow. Strawberries, blueberries. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Good. That's horrible. You'd, you'd, you'd hate this. 
and I'm just over here sitting. The syrup I just saw drip into your mouth. This looks really sad. <laughs> All right, so considering in typical fashion and Jesse James West has been helping me get through prep with his YouTube videos, I am making French toast and I'm using zero calorie syrup. So last bite, best bite. Mm. The macros of that glorious plate of anabolic French toast amounted to 98.2 grams of carbs, 3.8 grams of fat, 3.8 fat from that whole thing, and then 53.4 grams of protein, which is 633 calories. So I'm gonna sit down right now, get a bunch of work done, get my next two meals prepped, so meal number three and four, considering they're both quite the same. Um, they're more like just like basic bodybuilding style meals. They're just chicken, rice, zucchini, and avocado. Okay, so here we have the next two meals. As you can see, they're pretty much identical to one another. They're exactly 100 grams of raw weight jasmine rice, 150 grams of chicken, and 150 grams of zucchini. And a new addition, as you can see, we have some avocado. I'm also going to be topping them both with the GHU sweet chili sauce. And the macros of this meal are 85.5 grams of carbs, 9. 0.7 grams of fat and 45.7 grams of protein, both 608 calories times two, because I'm gonna have one now, two hours later, I'll have the next. Just today, considering today is a rest day, and other than just like being in the apartment, doing work and eating copious amounts of food, there's actually not much else to do considering all the work I needed to do is now done. This meal and the next meal I prepped, so we only actually have two more meals to cook. So I started this Netflix series called Shadow and Bone. First episode, first season, 40 minutes in, and oh my God, it's incredible. This one is the number one in Canada currently, so it may not be available, but if you can watch Shadow and Bone, definitely worth a watch. Cheers many hours in the future right now we are about to make meal number five about two hours ago i enjoyed meal number four obviously it was the same as the last meal you saw so i didn't show you again because that would just be boring meal number five is probably the second if not maybe if you're this kind of person the most interesting meal of the day 81.9 grams of carbs 15.6 fat and 54.5 grams of protein 675 calories can you guess what i'm gonna make just by the macros probably not but you might be able to guess by the ingredients i've got right here here are all the ingredients for the next meal extra lean beef mince fusilli pasta the macros of this specific one were by far the best we have some basil and tomato sauce one green pepper one red onion some mushrooms asparagus baby spinach finally some part skim mozzarella you can probably guess it we have some mixed vegetable lean beef topped with cheese tomato and basil pasta. I haven't had pasta since I don't even know when. It's like the beginning of prep and we're about to enjoy some right now. Do you want, do you want to try it? I would love to. Are you sure? You want a little bit? Cauliflower rice sounds great right about now. How many carbs are in your cauliflower rice? How many carbs are in this meal? I think in total seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Seven and a half. There's 90 grams in this one. Yeah. Times your meal by like, like fucking 12. It's alright. We're getting treated. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. Caught switching, you were picking sides. Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide. I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed. Money on the floor, can't get cold feet. Took an L, should've put it in the whole free. Lord, forgive me for my sins, don't know if me. Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts Lost control, now I'm taking charge Breaking bills, friends breaking off You could be the youngest, I'm the d, -d, -d, -d dawn Kiss the ring, nah In the scene like GOT Stay awake, don't sleep Like Jon Snow, get R.I.P. Just 15 minutes later, the masterpiece has been created. Took the wooden bowl from Geordie's mums. Honestly, I'm not gonna wait for a single second. I want this to be hot. I'm gonna sit down right now and enjoy this. All right, so, oh, oh my God. The smell of cheese. You're just saying, wow. Melt it. Like I don't know. It's like melting over the pasta. How good is it? A lot better than I thought. Well, oh man. Have you ever had that feeling where you haven't eaten for like a while or like you went out on a night time and you got so drunk and you're so dehydrated and then you go to the fridge and all you can find is something like cheese or like a really strong tasting food and your whole jaw cramps and it like, it's a good feeling but because the flavor's that intense, your jaw kind of like cramps a little bit or like, I don't know how to explain it, but that is pretty much exactly what I just felt. Look at that cheese just dangling off there. 
This is what dreams are made of. <laughs> because I've chosen macro friendly options and considering I do have a lot of macros to play with, but I'm still keeping it in the realm of like healthy, natural food. Like I'm not trying to fit like a McDonald's burger. And to be honest, I probably could have fit it somehow. I would rather do it like this and actually do it with foods that I know I enjoy and are foods that I know my body agrees with. Look at that cheese. Oh my God. <laughs> So stringy. I do want to say something. This has literally been like 13 weeks since I've had the chance to enjoy any of this stuff. Like two and a half, almost three months. And I can't describe how it feels because you know, on previous preps and stuff where I've like slipped up or I've allowed myself to eat in certain things. I can't explain the feeling of what it feels like to actually stay true to yourself and then to almost be like rewarded with the condition you've achieved with something like this. Just like it feels good inside as well as tastes good. I feel like eating this it's more than just enjoyment. I feel like I've hit some kind of milestone. I feel like as a testament to anyone out there trying to do something, you know, the rewards will come. Maybe you don't know when they're gonna be or how long it's gonna take to get there, but eventually with enough work, they will come. You just gotta do the work first and then you get to enjoy the cheesy bowl of pasta. And just a few hours into the future, we have the final meal of this reefy day. Very similar to the second half of today's breakfast. We have another pro card cookie. A little bit of a mix up. I've got blueberries and strawberries in this, the frozen ones, but we had some strawberries left over in the fridge. And we've also got a bit of protein in there as well. And the macros of this meal are 67.3 protein, 9.4 fat, 27.3 protein, 488 calories. You already know the entire macros and calories for today. So I am going to absolutely freaking demolish this cookie right now. But before we do that, I want a quick recap on how I'm currently feeling because obviously, having not eaten this many carbs for so long, I feel a bit different. Having done a few preps in the past and doing refeeds in many different ways, sometimes I've done one day refeeds of extremely high calories and some days I've done two day refeeds of still extremely high calories. I remember my last prep, I would have 1,000 carb refeeds where I'd have 1,000 grams of carbs one day, both days of the weekend. So at the end of the refeed, it was essentially 2,000 carbs over a weekend. In terms of refeeds and stuff, that was really like all I knew because I have done dirty refeeds, I've done clean refeeds, after doing a refeed on dirty food. So burger, fries, all that kind of thing. And I don't really like the way I feel because especially not having those foods in my diet consistently, whenever I go to Five Guys, because it's a typical bodybuilder thing to go to Five Guys and have a burger and fries. Afterwards, I feel genuinely sick to my stomach. I never really understand why people do that. I, I get it's like a bump in fats, it's a bump in sodium. You can do that with the same foods that you're having. I feel like honestly, it's just an excuse to like have something off plan. Yes, there is a place for it in the bodybuilding world, but I definitely do think that you can yield the same results in a better way with better quality food, which is why we've opted in to do it this way. Yes, the carbs aren't extremely high, they're only at 500, but I can tell you that right now, I know my workout tomorrow, it's gonna be fantastic, and I'm gonna wake up feeling completely normal, because right now, after all the food and the cooking I'm about to have, I feel completely fine. Previous refeeds on previous preps, I have been so full and lethargic and tired the entire day, but honestly, this was everything I needed. This was just a restore of energy. My glycogen stores are full to the rim. We have have stayed completely to the plan by the macro by the calorie and i'm very excited to do a physique update tomorrow check my weight and send it off to callum and let him know that the refeed went well drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this as my body changes more and more we're going to be utilizing the diet in many different ways and trying to manipulate my body in various different ways to yield different results i know there wasn't a workout in this video but the next one will definitely make up for that the love on the videos recently has just been like it's been crazy and I can't even express, I, I spoke about it and I, I feel like I sound like a broken record at this point, but like, as I said in the video when I was speaking about the hernia situation, by the way, a bit of an update on that, everything's fine. No, it's not making any complications. It was a bit of a worry in the beginning when it happened, but it's not got any worse and I'm being careful, so don't worry. That is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, smash a like. Do me a favor and turn on the post notifications. It's right next to the subscribe button. For one reason, it really helps the channel grow and two, you will never miss a future video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.